A North Dakota family uh, has been arrested with the assistance of a predator drone. Authorities used the drone for surveillance in order to catch the sons of a man who uh, was being investigated for not returning cows that wandered into his property. Oh, wow, that's pretty serious. I'm glad they used the drone on that. So apparently his three sons were being really, really difficult with authorities. A SWAT was called to the scene, and they did use a predator drone in order to find the sons and arrest them. So on January 14th, the jury found uh, Bozart, Rodney Bozart, guilty of terrorizing police. He's the person who wouldn't return the cows. Uh, though he was acquitted of theft and criminal mischief, Bozart's sons pled guilty to charges of menacing law enforcement officers and were sentenced to a year of probation. I'm mixed on this story. In this case, uh, I don't think it's that big a deal uh, that they use the drone. They could use the helicopter, they use the drone instead, right? And they've already used drones on 700 missions here domestically. So if you think that they're not using drones on us, you're just not up on the facts. Uh, between 2010 and 2012, FBI, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, and local police departments have used it. Uh, now, of course, in the beginning, it was to track terrorists. Then we were told, well, maybe some drug traffickers uh, near the border. Then it was people crossing the border. And now we're using it on... American citizens for surveillance purposes, right? Without yeah. a warrant, by the way. For a guy who, by the way, didn't even steal the cows. He was acquitted of that. The cows wandered into his property. So really serious terrorism-related cases, right? Now, look, again, the drone isn't as much of a problem because they could have done it with a helicopter too, right? Uh, but you do have predator drones. They're at least unarmed for now. Let's hope they keep them unarmed and they don't shoot you out of the sky, right? But God knows, but they told us they wouldn't use it for anything other than terrorism cases initially, and here they are using it for everything. I mean, this is as small a case as you could possibly imagine. Now, should the, uh, the, his sons pulled guns on the SWAT team? No, of course not, right? Mm -hmm. They shouldn't have done that. But by the way, conveniently, there's a terrorizing charge in there. Look, don't pull the guns on cops, it's a dumb idea, and you and your dad and everybody else is gonna get in trouble. On the other hand, what the drones do is, they make it cheaper to surveil. You couldn't surveil from the air using helicopters, et cetera, in the past as much, because it costs a ton of money. Now it's cheap, so you just throw the drones up there, and they watch for the criminals, like the guy who had the cows wander onto his farm, right? And then while they're up there, they're gonna watch all of us. And that's the problem. Yeah. Like, if you got a manhunt going on and you're gonna put a drone up and try to find Christopher Dorner, the guy who shot up the cops in LA, in the woods, everybody understands, right? Mm -hmm. It's just a piece of equipment, right? But once they're up there, <laughs> terrorism and all the serious things are out the window. They're just going to look in on all of us. Well, yeah, that, that, that is happening right now as we speak. We're militarizing our local police forces, which doesn't make any sense at all. And part of the reason why we do that is because we have this bloated defense budget. We want to make weapons manufacturers wealthy, so we keep developing more and more weapons. And when the military doesn't need it anymore, we just have our local law enforcement pay for it and buy it. So we're seeing tanks, we're seeing drones, we're seeing all of this, you know, uh, army grade, or I should say military grade weaponry within our local police forces, and it doesn't make any sense. And one last thing on the surveillance. Once they're all up there, and it's just a matter of time, mm -hmm. right? Because we're already at looking for cows, right? Uh, then, yeah, they'll start catching you doing things that you shouldn't be doing, because Big Brother's always watching. And if you ever do anything that's slightly wrong, and they don't like it for whatever reason. Now, they'll catch a million people doing a million wrong things. Are they going to put them all in jail? No. Mm -hmm. Will there be selective enforcement if they don't like you for whatever reason? Definitely. There's already selective enforcement in how we do deal with drugs, how we deal with different crimes. Now that they're watching every single thing you ever do, or they will, uh, they're already watching you through the NSA programs on the internet, the phone, etc. And now once they're up in the sky and they can see everything you do once you're outside your house, and maybe inside your house, it's over. Then Big Brother will be officially in place, and I don't know how in the world we'll ever get rid of them.